As a freshman, UNOH's John Slagle was part of a team that went just 2-16 and 16 in the Wolverine Hoosier Athletic Conference. Today, the Racers are in a three-way tie atop the league, can clinch at least a share of the WAC title, as they've already set a school record with 23 wins as they honor Slagle and the three other seniors prior to tonight's contest, and there'd be plenty to cheer about in the first half for UNOH. Josh Scott pass inside to Aaron Cross, 16 for Cross, 29-15, UNOH in front. And then Zian Anderson passed across over to Ed Jenkins. Hits the three, 10 points for Jenkins. UNOH began to pull away later in the half. Harrington out to Austin Hines. As it flies, it's three is good. 18 point lead at the break for the Racers. Scott tips the pass to Lawrence Jackson. Hits the three pointer. UNOH in control. Second half action now. Scott drives, gets the bucket to fall. Game high, 19 points for Scott, to go along with five rebounds and eight assists. Lords made it interesting in the second half, but UNOH wins 71-59. They share the WAC title with Davenport and Cornerstone, and they have gone a long way from four years ago to what they saw today as league champs. We, we were hoping it did. Uh, with the Johnny Elliott, Derek Tate crew coming in here, I thought they changed the face of the program and really had it go in the right direction. Guys like Lauren Jackson and, and the four seniors that came back and stayed with us through this thing is what I'm really proud of. So they, they proved it today by, by just persevering that good things could happen. Through the growing process, Coach has done a great job getting this team together, and we've just been putting it, winning on, the, on and off the court. The possibility is endless for us, whether we make it to Nationals and in the white tournament. Hoping to at least get the second seed so we, so we could host at least two tournament games. So we got to just go into this week, see where the chips fall, and fight and claw from there.